Statoil is Norway's largest company and I've come to the oil major's rather futuristic new headquarters outside Oslo to talk to Helga Lund, their chief executive, about Statoil's third quarter results. I started by asking him about the prospects for oil in the Arctic. Was this now a major new area for oil? Well, no doubt. Uh, there is a huge resource potential in the Arctic. But I think we need to think about the Arctic in several dimensions. You have what we call workable Arctic. It's like in the southern part of the Bering Sea in Norway, East Coast Canada, uh, where we have no ice. And then you have areas where there are there is ice that you have to handle, uh, not permanent, but uh, you know icebergs and all the challenges where we need to you know move our technology um, uh, further, and we are, we can work there as well. And then you have stretch. Arctic, where you have more permanent ice conditions and much harsher environment. I think we'll take many years before we can, can have a, a development. But I think generally the history of, of uh, the oil and gas industry is that we mature our components, new technology, we're operating better. So I think things we cannot do today, we can do in 10 or 15 years. Statoil has delayed a decision to develop infrastructure in the Arctic, but did recent discoveries by the likes of OMV and Lundin mean that the infrastructure now was definitely going ahead? So on the Johan Kasberg discovery in the Barents Sea, uh, we delayed it for s several per reasons. One, uh, we needed to understand better the resource potential, so we are drilling wells there now. Secondly, we felt that our initial development concepts were too expensive, so we need to really to work hard on cost to, to lower the cost base. And thirdly, we were surprised by a new tax uh, on the oil and gas industry in, in Norway that particularly hits those kind of projects, so we needed to reassess the project also on that basis. But our clear objective is to find enough resources and to have an efficient uh, development concept so that we can go ahead. Norway's just got a new government that's promised to sell down its stake in Statoil from about two-thirds to a half. So I asked Mr Lund what he made of the new government and what its intentions were to the oil sector. My experience is that uh, the leading political parties in Norway, uh, they uh, in essence agree on the main direction of oil and, oil and gas activities in Norway including uh, a clear understanding of the importance of stable fiscal conditions because we're working in a long-term industry. So I do not expect major changes in the framework conditions for oil and gas activities in, in Norway. That oil was also a partner in the Mongstad carbon capture project that the Norwegian government likened to Norway's moon landing but they've now pulled the plug on the project. So I asked Mr. Lund, was it just a fiasco? Well, Stottel has a long experience in carbon capture and storage on the Schleipner field, where we have operated that for, you know, almost two decades. Um, so we have huge experience. We are a big owner in the test facility at Mongstad that has the capacity to sequestrate 100,000 tons per year. That is important because we are learning to scale up different technologies. Uh, I support the decision that was made by the Norwegian go government to not uh, embark on a big full-scale uh, um, uh, you know, plant at this stage. That does not uh, change our view that the carbon capture and storage is one part of a broader uh, solution to the energy and climate issue moving forward. And we will now have to reorient how we spend our resources and competence in that field. And finally, in this quarter, Statoil got a rather damning report about the Inamainas terror disaster. And I asked uh, Mr Lund whether Statoil had just been too naive over the matter. Well, we worked diligently with uh, our partners on, uh, on that. I think the fact is that terrorism can happen uh, everywhere. We, commissioned a report from external experts. They gave us very clear recommendations and we have built uh, an improvement program in the security field to fulfill 
uh, you know, those recommendations and following up, following up on that within the next 18 to 24 months, that we put Statoil at uh, a much better level to deal with security uh, issues.